welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited that you clicked on this video. You're giving me a chance and I'm going to share a collective haul with you guys today. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Don't forget that bell button because then you're notified every time I upload a new video. And also don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. All of those things will help my channel out as well as anyone else's channels that you like to watch. So like I said, today for you, I do have a collective haul. It is a mix of stuff. Um, I have thrift store. I have a couple things from Amazon. I have one thing from Five Below, um, a bunch from Target and Dollar General. I think that's it. Um, and a lot of it is because I am today, today or no, it's not today. Today's Thursday. So I am going to be throwing a birthday party like a little mini birthday party for my best friend. Um, I am renting a hotel room. I am decorating it up for like the Eras tour. It's Taylor Swift themed. And um, I've been wanting to throw a Taylor Swift birthday party for quite a while. So this has been my opportunity to do it. I'm really excited. It's just going to be her and I. We're just going to be doing like a grown up sleepover, just me and her away from the kids. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So you're going to be seeing a bunch of stuff for that plus other things that are fun that I have found. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with non-Target. Target, I also have some clearance stuff from Christmas, but it's down here. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that's on the chair. So first of all, from Amazon, I ordered two things from Amazon to help me out for this party. Now, a lot of what I picked up, I did get at um, Timu. And so keep an eye out for a Timu haul and you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff there. But um, I am doing two main albums as the theme and this one is lover that's my favorite era and so i grabbed this as a big part of the decor from amazon i believe it was 12.99 or 13.99 um it's decent size as you can tell and i'm gonna hang this up the other album i don't think you're gonna see necessarily for that album in this haul but it's evermore because that's my best friend's favorite era and I did find some stuff on Timu for that. And I had to be um, a little creative because there's not a lot out there for the Evermore era as much as like some of the other ones. But so I am doing like a hotel room and it has like a living room area and a bedroom area. So I'm going to do both of the beds in the bedroom area because it's like two queen beds as the, our two favorite eras. So Evermore and Lover. And then in the living area, I'm going to decorate like just like kind of a little bit, something in homage to all the different eras. So hopefully as we're going through this, we're running into a bunch of them. They might not all be in this haul because I have stuff from Dollar Tree still to share with you in a different haul and from Timu that I've picked up. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing the beds in the two different eras. So I picked up pillows for both of them and so for the lover era I got this so it's just a pillow cover and it's the album cover of lover and so I got pillow inserts from Timu so that's like a little heads up when you watch my Timu haul so I'm going to fill that with a pillow insert this was $13.99 significantly more than the Timu ones but Timu didn't have any lover stuff really when I ordered from there so um, I had to get what I could get. All right, so that's what I have from Amazon. Oh, and then Barnes & Noble, my husband and I stopped there. He was actually looking for a magazine because he's building a rat rod right now. If you want to know what a rat rod is, ask down below. I'll let you know in the comments. But um, when we were at Barnes & Noble, I found this book. It was um, $10, and it is about Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty, obviously. And this talks about all her different eras in here. Um, so, like, that one says ready for it, but... Like in the corners here, some of them like talked about the different eras. It's least there, oh, so like this one says the red era. And so it gives like lots of information. I haven't read it yet. I just got it last night. Um, it was $24 as the manufacturer price and I got it for 10. So my husband's like, it's not $1.25, but I think you'd still like it. And he bought it for me. So um, I picked that up at Barnes and Noble. All right, from Dollar General, I picked up a few things. Some of them are for this and some of them are just a really cute Valentine's Day stuff. So first of all, I have some little decorating things I'm going to be doing with these gem stickers. Um, if you want to see more of what I'm doing for this, I'm going to do a whole video on it on Celebrating with Amber. It's linked down in the description box. You should follow me over there. And I'm doing a full video on this um, after I do my hauls and, and everything. And then I picked up these little heart gem stickers. These were all a dollar each at Dollar General. These were in their Valentine's Day section. These were just in their regular craft section. How cute are these? They had them in red 
as well. So if you like the little heart gem stickers, they had them at Dollar General. Then I picked some stuff up for Valentine's Day. First I grabbed these. You get a set of four and they were only a dollar. And they're these cute little wood ornaments. So this one says, Be Mine. The bow kind of covers it, but the bow is so cute. And then this one says, Hugs. And then in red, we have Love and Kiss. They all have like the two little beads on top even, and the little bow. Like, what a steal for only a dollar. Like, I mean, kind of a better deal than even Dollar Tree is. So, was super excited to grab that. When I sit here, I have nowhere to put my stuff. I usually have a table in front of me. And so like, I'm always just kind of looking for a spot to set everything down. Um, I got this little tabletop sign. It says, love you more. It was only a dollar. And that's something my husband and I say to each other all the time. We always argue about who loves who more. So that's why I wanted to grab that because I thought it was really cute. I do like it that it's in the wood color too, not like a bright color. So it gives it kind of that little bit of a natural look. Not that I have any problem because I will have red and pink everywhere. This does have um, hot glue all over it though. But um, I liked that. I really liked the saying on it. And then they had these little decor pieces and I think I picked them all up because I thought they were cute. So let's see if I can get it to hold. It's on a, like a string. This one says XOXO and it's got like the little teal bead in between. You can hang them like if you do a tree, which I have and I don't know, I might be again. You can hang it on the tree by using those or you can set them down because the heart like doesn't have a peak at the bottom so you can use it as tabletop decor as well. And they also had that in this one and it says kiss and it's pink hearts with little red beads in between and these were a dollar each. And I think lastly for Dollar General, yep, we had one last one of these. And it says love in white with a pink bead in between them. So all super cute. Loved all of the stuff from Dollar General. Their little Valentine's Day decor stuff was super cute. And so that's what I picked up. Oh, one more thing. Um, I picked up a chapstick and cotton candy flavored. That's going to be, I got little bags for my best friend and I for, it's almost like a goodie bag. And I'm going to put like hair ties and chapstick. And she likes cotton candy flavored things. And so I got her cotton candy flavored chapstick to put in her thing. All right, grab these. All right, also, sorry, I bumped the tripod. I went to Five Lows looking for a couple things. I just found this. It's one of their pretty cups. They're like Starbucks dupes. Look at the pretty colors in this. So it's kind of gold, but when you turn it, like there's some pink, there's some purple. It just really depends on the like angle that you see it. So like right there, like you could just see there's like all those different colors in there. And I have a pink one. I got it actually for Christmas from a Secret Santa gift. And so I'm going to use these as well for her and I thing. I'm going to take my pink one. I'm gifting her. This one is one of her birthday gifts. Um, it was $5 at Five Below. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. Like when you turn it just right, like you can see all those different colors in there. Um, and Evermore is like browns and like plaids and stuff. And this kind of still had like the right vibe to fit Evermore in my mind, but also beautiful and like something I think she'll love all the time. So grab this cup. It's plastic inside. Got the straw. Um, it's just very much a Starbucks dupe, but the colors in this I think are so pretty and I think she's going to love it. All right. Next, I have stuff that I grabbed from the thrift store and um, some stuff I'm crafting, some stuff I'm just using. First of all is this. It is a little Blues Clues guitar and how cute. It comes with an attached little heart pick to it and it strums like a guitar. My plan is to paint or cover the Blues Clues part and up here too it says Blues Clues. Um, I'll probably just cover it because Taylor Swift does have some blue guitars and I'm using it as a decor piece. Um, it was $3.99 and I'm going to be honest, I thought a lot of these were half off and they weren't. Nothing rang up half price. I didn't notice until after I left, but I spent $30 on everything so it wasn't that bad. So it was $4, but it's a nice big guitar. It's bigger than the ones you get at Dollar Tree. I did pick some up from Dollar Tree. You'll see that in my next Dollar Tree haul. Um, with plants to decorate those as well but this I'm going to use as a decor piece and cover up all the Blue's Clues stuff somehow. I haven't figured out how yet but and then it's broken on the back too right here. It's got a big crack in it but being that I'm not necessarily playing it to play it I think it'll be fine. So grabbed that. 
know where to put everything. It's great because like you can even like, I mean it's a real working guitar so that's really cool for $4. Um, so I'm trying to hit every era when I do this and my two eras that I really struggled with were the debut album and Fearless. So her first two albums. And so what I'm going for for Fearless and debut really are just like cowboy boots because that's where she started was with country music and so I picked these up they're little girls boots they were $9.99 um after I'm done everything said and done I'm going to give them to my little niece Stacy she has some brown days or brown cowboy boots that she loves and so my hopes are she loves these ones just as much they're actually Roper brand which I know is a decent cowboy boot brand so hopefully she loves them and when I do my next Dollar Tree haul I got some flowers to put in them um so there's going to just be some boots with some flowers and these are to pay homage to the earlier eras either um probably more debut and I think I'm going to do gold stars for fearless because gold is kind of associated to fearless but this one is for the debut album more than anything probably. And speaking of her debut album, I found it at the thrift store for $2, $1.99. Um, and I figured too, if I struggled, I could just put this out or just put like the, the cover of it out. I actually own quite a few of her albums, just not really the earlier ones because I wasn't a big Swifty then. I really hit Swiftiness um, at Reputation. And then... Um, I've gone back and I've bought in Taylor's version of Red and Taylor's version of 1989 and love both of those too. But this was $1.99. It's still Big Machine Records. We don't love them, but Taylor has not put out a Taylor's version of this one yet. So grabbed this for $1.99. And luckily since it was the thrift store, they won't get any cut of it. So grabbed that and dropped it. Um, I went in looking actually for a little... Um, statuette of cowboy boots like that's what I wanted was something like this but cowboy boots but I did find a cat and it reminded me a little bit I mean kind of of a mismatch of all of Taylor's cats but I wanted to do something cat like I'm probably printing out a picture of one of her cats um, because it's such a big part of Taylorness but um I thought this was really cute so I grabbed it it was $2.99 in the brick brack area and I thought it was really cute so I picked that up then at Target right now in their Bullseye's Playground, they have a little sign that says Tea Time on it. And I have been searching and searching. My Targets have been very slow to put out their cute Valentine's Day stuff. And so I haven't found it yet. But I found this cute little tea kettle, teapot. It's a teapot. It was $4.99. And so I grabbed this for Tea Time because Midnight's is like my probably second or third favorite album. My three favorites are Lover, Reputation and Midnight's are my favorite albums and so she does like about tea time in her song Karma I believe no anti-hero it's an anti-hero and so I thought this would be just cute to be a little piece of decor if I have any other flowers maybe like a flower coming out of it or something but um picked that up and then lastly from the thrift store and then we're going to get on to Target I found this and I bought this as a gift. Um, you may or may not know who this gift is for. It was only $2.99. I thought it was half price, but even for $2.99, I think this is the cutest little thing. So I'm gonna send this as a gift to one of my YouTube sisters um, as soon as I get a chance to get it in the mail for her. So got that as a little gift. All right, we are gonna move on to Target. I had all that in one of my Christmas bags because why the heck not? All right. Target. First of all, I picked up two of these. They were either 50, I think they were 50% off. I'm pretty sure I paid $1.50 for them the day I bought them. Um, one of them's already out there because I just thought they looked perfect in this room. This is my cozy cabin Christmas room that I still have been kind of buying things for. And I thought this would be too darn cute in here. So I grabbed two of them at $1.50 each. Um, I'm going to fluff it and make it look nicer and stuff, but I didn't want to make a big flocking a mess at the moment so it's still a little sad looking um also in their clearance i grabbed this this was only 90 cents i believe or dollars no this one was a dollar 50 
It was regular price $5. I got it for $1.50. So my best friend, her name is Jennifer, and she did a whole thing this year. Her, She was loving candy cane, um, peppermint kind of theme, and so I thought she would really like this to go with that. And for $1.50, how do you not? So I'm going to gift this to her. I have a whole thing of birthday gifts and Christmas gifts for her, so I'm going to add this probably to her Christmas gift because I haven't given that to her yet. And then 90 cents was this guy. It is a cute little gingy bowl. It was on sale for only 90 cents. Um, I think it's, does it tell me? Regular price was $3. Um, it literally just says it's a snack bowl. And I thought it was too darn cute for 90 cents. They, it was only one. It was like kind of randomly in a spot. No idea, no idea. So I grabbed that. And then I think lastly for clearance is this guy. Um, darn it. I dropped the receipt. So it was normally $14.99 and we paid $4.49 for it. So I have a Timu haul that you'll be seeing eventually and um, it has a bunch of stuff for the boys that I had ordered from Timu. It said most likely will arrive before Christmas. I decided to chance it. It didn't arrive before Christmas. So I still want to gift them the stuff because they're like it's the stuff that they're currently into. But there was nothing for Lorelai in that package because I figured out may do like because I try to even out their gifts. And so they're going to all get a little bit of an after after Christmas gift. And this is going in hers because she had been eyeballing this the whole time. Um, we didn't get it for her. And so for four dollars and forty nine cents, totally worth it. So she's going to get this as an after Christmas gift along with this. It's an 11 um, pop. Funko Pop. She loves Stranger Things and so I thought she would probably like this. Actually her dad found this one and it was $11.99 and so he's like wow and it was in the wrong spot. We were trying to guesstimate the price and I'm like I don't know somewhere between like five and twenty. He's like well if it's closer to five and it was $11.99 so we grabbed this for her too because I knew I had to I wanted to get her a few things as her after Christmas gift since I have stuff for the boys um coming. All right next are just a few more things from Target. So this was in their New Year's Eve stuff. It is a set of disco ball ornaments and I'm using this also for the Taylor Swift party because the disco ball, the mirror ball, it just all kind of plays a role. And so, um, oh I have another Target bag over there. I'm gonna have to go grab that. So I grabbed this also for that. Then in their Valentine's Day stuff, they had this out currently. It is a decorative pillow. It's just a big set of red kissy lips. They're five dollars and I mean it says red. This is like Taylor Swift Red's album and so I grabbed this because the hotel room that we have has like a sitting area with like a little couch and so I got a couple throw pillows to put on the couch and the other one is the disco ball throw pillow. It was five dollars and my debate was between buying the disco ball pillow or like the literal like mirror ball and I decided to go with the pillow. It's missing one of its little shinies. It's missing a few of them here and there but I mean for five dollars and then like um, one of the kids will probably want it after the fact. Really a lot of this stuff especially anything like more than a dollar twenty five I'm like okay who's gonna want it afterwards and where can I gift it or give it to after the fact. Well, there goes that. And then um, I'm doing like, again, little goodie bags, the chapsticks going in them. And I found these and they're just little keychains, but they have like a little heart disco ball and the little pom pom. They were in the dollar spot or the bullseye's playground spot at a dollar each. They had two other ones. One was purple and one was teal, like a mint green. And I can't remember what was on both of those, but these, this one seemed to fit most when I was going with the Taylor Swift kind of theme. So I'm going to do each of these in like the little bags for us. I picked up, this also was a um, dollar I believe when I scanned it and it's just little people. I'm going to add it to my little village. Um, it was either dollar fifty, I think it was a dollar fifty when I grabbed it. So picked that up and then last, no I have another bag I'm going to go grab. Then I also picked this up. This is a computer mat for your like computer desk. It was five dollars. Um, they had it in pink and in white. I stood there and debated forever. All my stuff on my desk is white so I went with white and I'm going to put this underneath my keyboard and stuff because I think it's just a nice way to like protect my desk. My desk is soft wood and I find that if I like 
I'm not careful I can make dings and stuff in my desk all the time so I wanted this to protect it and so keep an eye out for these if that's something you're into because I feel like five dollars is a better price than even the ones I've found at Amazon and they're like nice and thick as well all right give me one second I'm gonna go grab my other bag because I forgot to bring it over here all right I got my other bag there's some boring crackers and stuff in here I'm not necessarily gonna share those and this was under my other bag but there's only I think one thing in here um, I picked this up also for my best friend I thought it was the cutest thing it's currently in their dollar spot it says that it is 10 coupons galantine vouchers for fun filled galantine ideas so it tells you on the back and it was only a dollar that there's like lunch date with friends shopping buddy bff brunch takeout movie night spa day coffee date gals night place of your choice dinner date with friends mani petty and dessert of your choice so I just think this is a fun way, like gift this, and then it's like a way to be like, hey, we are going to definitely have some like some little get togethers. So I got that. That's going to be a gift for my best friend. Then also in her little bag that I'm doing, I got this. It's just a cute little mirror and they put a film over it. So like I'm not going to blind you with it because it has a film and it says love. It just needs the R for lover for Taylor Swift, but I think it'll work just fine. Um, and it was only a dollar in the Bullseye's Playground. And then I grabbed these plates because I'm going to do some like candy and snacks and stuff in the hotel room and so I thought this would be cute because it's kind of like the disco ball but it's a heart. To me it says lover so I thought it was cute but you can also kind of do a play on red with it. Um, just sticking to the eras. I bought this cute little thing of bubbly of champagne. It's the collection Prosecco Rosé. We're not big I mean, I like wine and I like sparkling wine. She is not a big wine, sparkling wine drinker and we'll probably get some other like, she likes Trulies, so I'll probably get Trulies. Um, but I'm not a big drinker drinker anyway, but I thought this was cute. And then um, on Taylor Swift's Folklore album, there is Champagne Problems. And so it's just kind of to do some homage to that. I wanted a little bottle of champagne because I bought champagne glasses at Dollar Tree that you'll see on my next Dollar Tree haul and we're almost done um i picked these up also in the valentine's day section look how cute these are um they have they're like little valentines it says you brighten my valentine's day and i think we make a great pair but um they just spoke to me they kind of said um the lover album to me red and lover and so um i wanted to give these as well or put these out kind of as some decor for the birthday party oh, our little birthday gift together and that's kind of it of the fun stuff i picked up this i hadn't seen it before christmas it's the starbucks holiday blend for the Ke or not the keurig i don't like my keurig i got rid of my keurig for the nespresso so i was excited to find this because they're kind of always really basic that you find in the store so i'm going to try this one out now that we're past it it says sweet maple and herbal notes excited to give that one a try okay some boring uh crackers in here and then I had bought in one of these. It is one of the mini verse balls. Um, I already opened it though because I wanted to know what I have. It's chicken noodle soup because I have been hooked on these. I've been making a bunch of them. If you're curious at all about mini verse, let me know down below. I can do probably a little video or something and make one with you guys because it's been like my fun hobby that I did over my little break from doing YouTubes. I put together a bunch of these. All right, guys, that's it for my collective haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. I hope you're getting as excited as I am about putting together this Taylor Swift little birthday party. Let me know down below if you're a Swifty or not. Um, and if you're into this, if you're into the idea of like a Taylor Swift era's party, because it's going to be so much fun. Like I'm really, really, really excited to do it. Um, so let me know down below if you're into it. And make sure that you head over to celebrate with amber and subscribe if that's something you're into um all right guys that's what i got for you this time i will be back on saturday with the dollar tree haul i am recording it like right now next because um saturday is the day that i'm doing the little party thing and i need all the stuff to um do it so i will be doing another dollar tree haul and a timu haul today so that that way i've hauled all the stuff that i need and i'll figure out when i'm posting everything but you'll be seeing this one on thursday so um, I can't wait until I see you next time. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Um, I hope you're having a great Thursday. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.